Hey guys, I touch vid here, and as I promised, I'm going to compare Opera Mini and Safari. I also said I was going to compare a browser called Sphere, but I was having a bit of trouble doing that, so I deleted it. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I am going to do a speed test using BBC News and just doing a quick Google search, and I'm going to show you my favorite feature from the browser. And what I've also done, I have cleared the cache, the cookies, and the history to make it a proper fair test. So here is Opera Mini. My favorite feature of Opera Mini just comes straight up on your home, sc home screen. It is this speed dial. What it lets you do is add your favorite websites onto it. But when you first um, get Opera Mini, you'll have loads of junk speed dials. It's all full up. So if you want to delete them, you just hold on them until this comes up. And it says clear or edit. So you can delete it or edit the link for a different website. If you want to add the new one, you just press this plus and it says enter address. You just enter a new address and it will appear on there. So I can put like Twitter or my YouTube page. So there is BBC News. If I try and load that, let's see how long it takes. And just to let you know, I am on a... My Wi-Fi connection is really low upstairs, which is where I am right now. So as you can see, that was really fast. What it does, it uses its compression technology. Basically, it sends the website to their server, then it compresses all the text and the images. And you can even set the image compression to low quality, but it's still on high quality. So it can make it even faster. So one downside to it is it doesn't have pinch and zoom, which I really like in Safari. What you have to do, you have to just hold on on a piece of the web page and it will zoom into that. But the only problem is you can't zoom anymore. So scrolling around is, as you can see, it's not as fluid or smooth as in Safari. It looks a bit rough around the edges, but it is a lot faster at loading the page and as you can see if I just scroll down you don't see any of that checker boxing that happens in Safari where you see those like weird squares where the page hasn't loaded yet and what you can do you can hold on, on a piece of text and it's you can press select text then you can select some of the text and you can copy it and search it in the Google search which is really useful okay next I am going to do a Google search and the good thing about the search box you can also change it to stuff like Amazon, eBay, Wikipedia, even manage the search engine. So I just want to do a Google search for something like test and press search. Let's see how long that takes. As you can see, that was really, really quick. And I can just scroll through here and then just like go to that test.com. It's as easy as that. And as you can see, that loaded really fast. One thing I like about Opera is this sort of full screen browsing. Sphere had proper full screen browsing, but it's not really working at the moment but as you can see it doesn't have that weird bar at the bottom you can by just pressing that and then if I tap here whoops that zoomed in and then if you tap here it goes back and if I show you the back button which I really like the back and forward buttons are really fast they save the web page in your cookies not just like Safari or anything else does so it loads without actually having to reload the web page so it is really good as you can see that. So now for Safari, I'm going to do the same tests. And Safari, I don't really have a proper favorite feature, but I just like the UI a lot. It, it's just a lot cleaner and smoother. So it's already started loading news.bbc.co.uk. And as you can see, it's taking a lot longer than it did on Opera it has to load the whole web page just like you're on a computer what Opera does it compresses it especially for a mobile device so it's starting to load and what Opera does it loads the whole web page at the same time Safari loads different elements so it first load the text then it will load like the CSS then the images then like videos and then other stuff that you might have which slows it down a lot because Opera just bundles them all into one so the first thing you'll see when you're loading the page is like the text and like the CSS then the images start coming in and then if there's any flash videos on there which obviously the iPod can't play but it still has to load them but as you can see I can already start browsing it and the zooming you can just do pinch and zoom or if I completely zoom out you can do tap zoom so I can tap in a certain place and it will zoom in as you can see the 
scrolling is very good but as you can see you saw that checker boxing a minute ago and it's because the page isn't properly loading so but as you can see it's really fluid and really good and easy to use and if I tap on Google I'll do a search for test you can't you can't actually um, search other things like Amazon stuff like Opera does but if I just search a normal Google search as you can see it's taking a bit longer but it's finally loaded so that is it really so what I like about Safari is it's really simple to use and it is just really fluid everything just works with Opera Mini it's a bit rough around the edges they still their first version but it is a lot faster so that's it really